Well, Carpiche had finally got here. We uh, Carpiche sent this from the UK about almost a month ago. And it just got here today. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I expected it being lost in the post that long. It was going to be beat up and everything was going to be missing out of it. But uh, there you go. Still in, still in good shape. So let's, uh, let's see if we can open this. And uh, I'm going to use my biggest pocket knife. Uh, my wife gave this to me after I stabbed myself with a larger one. So this is the biggest one I'm allowed to have right now. But it gets the job done. It's not the size of the blade. It's, it's how sharp it is, right? That's what I keep telling myself, anyway. If that doesn't work, I'll use some power tools. She hasn't taken those away yet. Alright. Just pull out some... Alright. A pair of pliers to take C-clips off with. Thank you, sir. That's great. That way I don't have to keep smashing my fingers with needle nose pliers. And we have a a Yale. Kind of an odd shape. Alright. Looks like the Y keyway. Shielded. That's cool. And we have, looks like, an oh my god, another one of those UAPs. I've managed to get one of these open. These are not easy picks. And this is a six pinner. Looks high quality. It's got the anti snap cuts on it. It's got some tie, some inserts, probably carbide there, anti drill. This looks like a pretty high quality lock. It's got the uh, quality, I can't think the name of it, but that logo there telling you that uh, it's, got, it's definitely pick resistant. So this is another difficult lock to pick. So I got something to look forward to there. Looks like a. Oh my gosh, a Ruko cylinder. And look at the bidding on this thing. This is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, Rukos are always fun. We have, it looks like an ERA. We don't often find these here in the U.S. In fact, I've only seen them advertised. I bid on a couple on eBay, but never won them. So this is the first ERA. That I have access to. We have a half cylinder here, looks like a Yale. Again with the bidding, look at the bidding on this thing. I think Kerpish probably picked these out just for me. These are when they're low cut, man those are always hard to get by in these Yales. We have another half cylinder, it is a Looks like an ASEC. Again, not a name that I'm familiar with. It's got the Y keyway, Y1 keyway. I don't know how many. Oh, there we go. Five pinner. And we have a CISA. So I think that's a Spanish brand. Again, with the bidding. My God, Kerpies, did you go shopping special just to find these keys? <laughs> Good gravy. This ought to be a challenge. We have a, a Union six cylinder, or six, yeah, six cylinder, six pin. This one's something perhaps a little bit more within my capability. Maybe I can rake this one. <laughs> but knowing the Union, that's probably not going to happen. And knowing Kerpish, he probably repinned it with something evil. We have another ERA, different style. Oh my god. None of these are easy pinnings, are they? Three, four, and the five pinner. It's this one probably is custom pinned by Kerpish. We got a K on the front there and scratched into it and then on the side. So I'm almost afraid to ask what he put inside of there. And it looks like a Squire padlock. I think of all of them in this box, this is probably the only one within my capability right now. I think Kerpish probably pinned almost all. There's another one, another K on here. So I think I'm going to have plenty of trouble with these. Uh, Squire looks like a, it's got a security rating of, ooh, a three. All right. Definitely within my capability. Kerpish looks like a bunch of keys. There's the UAP. Looks like a six pinner. Again, with a very challenging bidding. And the last one is that Yale, again with the 
deep cut followed by shallow cut. Nothing easy in this box. Capiche, thank you, sir. Even though it took a month to get here, and the only return address on this was K equal Kerpiche Custom. So there you go. I guess everybody in the postal system knows you. That's a, that's the only name you need, guy. I appreciate it, and I certainly appreciate these pliers. These are going to come in handy. I don't have to keep busting my thumb with needle nose. Thank you, sir, and uh, I'll get on these and start picking them one at a time. Thanks a lot, Capiche. Everybody stay safe, stay legal.